listen now. The, the problem when you're a magician, and every magician has this problem, and some of them don't care about it at all, and I probably care about it too much. The, the problem when you're a magician is this. In a minute, something's going to happen on stage that is so clearly impossible that you're not going to know what to think, right? You're going to go home tonight. You're going to be lying in bed, unable to sleep, thinking, shit, you know? <laughs> what, what in the world was that, right? And it sounds, listen, 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 listen. It sounds like I'm bragging, but I'm not. I'm absolutely not. Because here's what's going to happen. All of you, all of you are then going to do the following. You're going to turn over. You're going to close your eyes. And you're going to say, to yourself before you drift into a deep and peaceful sleep, screw it. <laughs> He's just a magician. It's just a magic trick. I don't care anymore. I'm going to sleep, right? Listen, listen, listen. Last year I did 130 shows. I got on stage 130 times and completely and totally failed each time to make this stuff resonate with the audience. I'm not, listen, I'm not a good enough performer. I'm not a good enough communicator. I'm not a good enough magician to make this stuff glow in the dark for you. I'm just not there yet. However, and this is a big however, I am good enough to take a few people, take just a few people, and show them something they will never, ever, ever be able to just dismiss as a magic trick. Before we do anything, I'm going to put my wallet on this stool. I just want you to see that it's out in the open from the beginning. I'll get back to it in a minute. I need to pick some random people out of the audience. If I were to go down into the audience and uh, ask people to help, the obvious solution would be that I'd set this up with someone. So I'm going to crumple up, I'm going to crumple up an old poster. I'm going to turn around and throw this over my shoulder. If it comes to you, I want you to just catch it and stand up. Fair? All right. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick it up. Stand up. I'd like you to stay standing, throw it again. Whoever catches it, would you please, sir, would you stand up? Would you throw it again? Would you, would you stay standing? Uh, throw it over again, yeah. That's one, two, three, we have four. Would you kick it over so everybody can hear? Just throw it again, but uh, bring it back so everybody can see what's going on. Yeah, if you catch it, yep, would you stand up? That's one, two, three, four, five. I need one more person. Would you just throw it behind you? All right, would you stand up as well? All right. For everyone that's standing, I want you to just think of a number that's somewhere between 1 and 50. The only rule is you can't use a number that someone else has already said. So if someone else uses your number, I want you to just think of a new one. Is that fair? All right, so I'm going to start down here. What's the number that you thought of? Um, 27. 27. All right, I want everyone around here to just remember 27. What's your number? 39. 39, so we have 27, 39. What's your number? 13. So we have 27, 39, 13. Uh, sir, what's your name? Austin. Austin, what's your number? Four. Four. Next number's four. Uh, fifth number, what's your name? Brooke. Brooke. Number between one and 50, what is it? 22. 22. All right, and the last number, sir? What number would you like? Two. Two. Last number is two. Okay. <laughs> if, if you want to think of this as a trick, that is certainly your prerogative. But I would, just, I would just say that you would agree there's no way I could have set this up like in this massive paper ball throwing conspiracy. <laughs> There's no way I could have controlled where the ball was thrown or what numbers were said, right? All of you, you, can you just agree that we've never met before? This isn't all a setup, right? If you want to think of this as a coincidence, that's fine as well. But the odds of this working by chance alone are in the trillions. It doesn't matter. I mean, I don't care how you think about this. The point is that something extraordinary has happened. 
What's your name, sir? Chad. Chad. Would you join me on stage for a minute? Round of applause for Chad. <laughs> Chad, say hello. Hello. OK. <laughs> Chad, what was, your last number was two? Two. So here's the thing. Inside, my wallet's been sitting here the entire time, right? OK. In my wallet, I want you to just see this. There's a lottery ticket, right? Now, it's not a winning lottery ticket. It didn't, it didn't win or anything. But I think you'll find the numbers on it really interesting. <laughs> Would you just read those out loud so everybody can hear them? 27, 39, 13, 4, 22, and 2. <laughs> Chad, shake my hand, man. You can have a seat. Thank you. All right. Coming up. I want to show you a movie. What? Wait. What? What? That's just Whoa. crazy. <laughs> 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 That's good magic. I'm glad. Thank you.